down. They realize that you're the that they're, that you're human. They're still right there. We got it. Heck yeah. Alright, let's go fight some feet. Let's go. I think Nick is taunting them. What? I'm a human! God. Nick, go swim in the creek. No! Nick! There's a creek. There's a Nick. Swim. Yeah, Lee, Liam's not gonna do it. He's dumb. That's what he would do. Nick Nicholas 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 Yo, what is up, Pulse? I hope you enjoyed watching me and Nick chase geese. That was fun. Now, tune in for our special guest speaker because you're already sick of hearing my voice. What if we treated everyone like they are created in the image of God? We are talking about justice this month because for the most part, people are mean. People are bad. People are stupid. Like, the world that is being handed to you guys sucks. And it stinks mostly because people are mean. And people treat other people poorly. Sometimes it's because of the color of their skin. They get treated differently. Sometimes it's because of gender. Sometimes it's because of sexual orientation. Sometimes it's for no reason and people are just mean. But because people are mean, because people treat other people poorly, there is injustice in the world. And that's wrong. And as followers of Jesus, we are called to stand up and fight the injustice that exists in this world. That's why I'm asking this question. What if we actually really treated every single person that we come into contact with as if they were created in the image of God. Some of us think we do, and I think most of us do it most of the time. But what if we did it every time? 100% of the time. What if our whole culture treated everyone like they were created in the image of God? What would that look like? What if we all stood up to fight injustice together? How would our culture be different? It would be so drastically different and so much better if everyone just treated everyone like they were created in the image of God. But the truth is we don't. So how do we, how do we try and make that happen? How do we try and enact change and make change happen? I think it happens in two ways. One, we can focus on the culture at large. We can do things like educating ourselves on how to take a stand. What are the issues? What are the non-issues? We can really take some time to educate ourselves and try and help educate other people and try and take that stand and fight for people. That's number one. And number two, what I want to talk about more in this video today is I have to change myself. You have to change yourself. We can't try and act change other places if we're not willing to change ourselves first. So what about you? What about, what about me? What are these ingrown biases that we have? And I know we're all going to say, I don't have those. That's not me. And I wish I could say that too, but it's just not true because all these ingrown biases really stem from sin and we all have sinned. You do it. I do it. We live in sinful environments. And so we have these ingrown biases against different people because that's just the sinful environments that we have grown up in. So it's there. And if we want to make this world better, if we want to fight injustice, it has to start with us. It has to start with me looking inward at what biases am I not even aware of? And you have to do the same. We really have to buckle down on this question. What if I 
really treated every single person like they were created in the image of God. But what does that, what does that even mean? What does that even really mean to treat people like they're created in the image of God? Like what, as a person, as an individual, how do I do that, right? What does this even mean? This idea that we're going to treat everyone like they're created in the image of God. Like, what does that even mean? And it starts with us looking inward at our own biases, but then afterwards, what does that mean to actually treat people that way? Well, real quick in this video, I've got just a couple of ways, and then we're going to talk about it if you want to join us in the Zoom on Monday night afterwards. And the first thing is we would add value to people. When you interact with people and you are looking at those people as if they are created in the image of God, we're going to add value to their life. You're like, are you showing those people love? Are you bringing peace? Are you an encourager that is uplifting them? Are you adding value to their life? Or because we are treating them differently or because we are so selfish and only looking at our own selves, are we trying to bring them down? Are we looking at them and celebrating them, adding value to their life? Or are we doing the opposite or are we just ignoring them, which kind of brings them down too? Number one, are we adding value to people's life? Second thing is we would help people use their gifts. God made us all in his own image. And one of the things I love about this is we are all so different. And if we all have a little slice of being in the, like we are in the image of God, so we have a little slice of what God looks like, then we have to put all of these different pieces together to really get a better view of who God is. If I'm only around people that are like me, that have the same gifts as me, then I don't get to see the full picture of who God is. So we need to celebrate other people using their gifts, not because I have my own insecurities and thinking that if someone else does something really good, then that makes me look bad somehow. So I'm going to try and keep them from using their gifts because somehow I think that's going to make me look better. Like, no, 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 none of that. As a follower of Jesus who is treating people like they're created in the image of God, I have to celebrate people's gifts, help them understand what those gifts are, and find ways to help them use those gifts. And going back to number one, that's going to help add value to their life. Help people use their gifts. <laughs> the last one goes along with that. We need to embrace diversity. Not just embrace, but celebrate people who are different who act different, who look different, who come from different cultures, we need to understand, like, yeah, people are different. That's beautiful. That's wonderful. We should embrace that. We should be looking at him and, like, searching that out in our lives because they are also created in the image of God. And I can celebrate their differences because that helps me understand who God is more. Like, we should be embracing and celebrating different. But what I normally see is people who are scared of different. And there's just this, this thing that is inside all of us as humans where we just kind of get scared of things that are different because we, we don't understand it. We don't know it. It's the unknown. It makes us anxious and afraid. And that's a thing that happens and a thing that we have to fight within us that different isn't bad and scary. Different is good. We can learn from different. We can grow from different. So somehow we get threatened by this idea of different. And if we want to add value to people's lives, if we want to treat people like they are created in the image of God, then we're going to be, oh, you're different. That's so awesome. I get to learn something. I am so excited about your differences and we're going to embrace it and try and learn not do the thing that we all do, which is like the arrogant thing that because I am the way that I am, that must be right. And so I am right and you are different. And so that can't be right because I am right. And so you need to learn from me, but instead take the stance of, I am so excited that you are different because I get to learn from you. How awesome is that? And I think the biggest thing that I want to say in this video is that we need to stop fighting what is different and start fighting people who treat different as bad. Now, I'm going to say that again, and wherever you are and wherever you're watching this, I am expecting some amens to this statement. Ready? We need to stop fighting different and start fighting people who treat different as bad. If people think different is bad, they are going to start treating those people worse and that means they are not treating them like they are created in the image of God. And what if we 
treated everyone like they are created in the image of God. We're going to add value to people's lives. We are going to embrace diversity. We're going to help them use their gifts. And we're going to fight people that treat them worse. We're going to fight people that get threatened by people's differences. We're going to say, that's not okay. And I don't mean like physically fight. I mean, stand up and say, that's not okay. We need to embrace this. We need to love this. We need to be excited about different because different is good. Stop fighting what is different and start fighting the people that think different is bad. One of the things I love about working with teenagers, working with you guys, knowing you guys, getting to step into your life, is I truly believe that you are the generation that's going to make these changes happen. I truly do. Are you going to be on board with it? Are you going to be a part of the change of standing up to fight injustice? Standing up to fight against people who think different is bad, different color of your skin, different sexual orientation, different beliefs about this or that. Like, Stop treating different as bad. Embrace different. Now, I'm not saying that we give up on everything that the Bible says. And that, well, who cares what the Bible says? We're just going to accept everything. as like I'm not saying that at all. And if that is what you are hearing, I'm sorry that that is what you're hearing because that is not what I am saying. What I am saying is we need to stop being threatened by different and start embracing different. And I truly believe your generation is a generation that's doing that and is going to continue to do that. And I love it. And I love being around you guys because it challenges me and I get to learn and I get to become better. I hope you will do the same. Stop. We need to stop fighting what is different. Start fighting people who treat different as bad. What if? What if? We as Pulse, what if we as Jolt, what if we as Crossroads, what if we as Adrian, Lenaway County, what, what if we start treating everyone like they are created in the image of God? What if you start doing that? Hmm. I think God's going to do huge things when we start doing that.